Start by notching your pinkies, putting one pinky over the other. Then grip the pinkies with both the middle and ring fingers, like so. Now we can drill the digits of the fingers sticking out. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Doing them in different combinations as an exercise. Now we're going to replace which pinky is on top by releasing the grip, switching the pinkies, and re gripping. And you can do the digit exercise again to even out the stretch. You can also work the switching of the pinkies into a drill in and of itself by switching back and forth which pinky is on top repeatedly. Next we're going to release the middle fingers, cross them, and grip them with the pointer fingers. And at this point you can really open your hands like they're a book, have the side of your hand like it's the spine of the book, and open it while your hands are folded together here, and that will give you a nice clean stretch. And now if you forgot how to get into that position, what you're going to do is you're going to cross your pointer fingers and interlace your fingers together one after the other. Now you can use your pointer fingers to grip your middle fingers, and you're going to use your ring fingers to grip your pinky fingers, and this one has to come around that knuckle in order to get in place. Next, we make a drill out of ungripping and regripping the middle fingers and switching which middle finger is on top. It is an eight count drill that goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you can do it in front, you can do it in back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The drill of ungripping and regripping will switch which finger is on top and give you a more even stretch in the process. You can practice it only up top with the bottom two fingers free. There's also a similar position with the middle two fingers. So you're going to grip your ring fingers with your middle fingers and your pointers and pinkies are going to be free to flop around. So you'll grip and grip and then the pointers and pinkies will be free. And you can do similar digit drills as before. Or you can stagger and try to touch the fingertips together. You can also switch which finger is on top in order to get the more symmetrical stretch. Switching back and forth as a drill, like before. Since you can reach every one of these poses from the interlace position, you'll notice that you'll be able to switch between all of them by going back to the interlace position. And since you can hit each position from the interlace position, you can also switch which fingers are on top and on bottom in both the front and the back of each pose. Which means you can run through every variation by hitting the center interlace position. And now, every pose that we've done, we've done one direction, but we can also flip it over and do it upside down, so to speak. Start by gripping the pointer fingers with both the middle and ring fingers and have the pinkies and thumbs free to do the digit drills. 
switch which pointer finger is on top by releasing the middle two fingers. And this is a fun little loop-de-loop. -loop. Now you'll cross your ring fingers and grip with your pinkies. This is difficult because pinky strength is a thing, but just pulling down on your pinkies enough to touch the tips of your ring fingers is enough here. And of course you can switch back and forth which ring finger is on top by ungripping and regripping. Counting out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As you grip and regrip, you'll notice you are doing basically the inverse of all of the stretches that we've done up till this point. And in the center, you'll cross your middle fingers and grip with your ring fingers. You can count it out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to grip and ungrip. And the final step is to be able to switch between all of the positions that we've gone through here by going into the middle interlace pose and regripping again with the opposite fingers on top. Definitely do not worry about trying to get this right away. Worry about the stretches, the individual positions first, and eventually you'll work your way into all of the extra stuff. Thank you for watching.